Hey there, my name is Pete with Chatter, and today I want to give you a quick demo of our machine monitoring software. So uh, we'll dive right in here. This is our login page. You can get to this from any desktop uh, PC or smartphone. So I'm going to log in here under my account, and you will be greeted with this nice overall metrics uh, page where you can see at the top uh, how your shop's been doing overall. So your active time, setup time, amount of time stalled, uh, amount of parts made, things like that. Next row down, you can see the amount of parts per hour and the different alarms, as well as a little summary of your different alarms and whether or not they have been resolved. So let's zoom in on this machine here. Uh, we can see our Haas ST15, and we can see it's in memory mode. It's run running program 1029, a few different pieces of critical information about it, and these are customizable. So the amount of parts it's made, the amount of parts it needs to make, as well as a log of how it's been going. This machine's been doing really well, just making parts consistently. That's what we want to see. Um, we can also see throughout our day uh, this nice simple chart, very user friendly. Green means good, everything's running. Red means, hey, uh, something's going wrong, it should be running, it's not. And yellow means the machine's being set up. And this is all detected automatically just based off the data we pull from your machine. So we don't require really any operator input on the productivity side. Uh, so, you know, as a shop owner, just for, you know, some quick background, I've been a shop owner for seven years. I started Chatter um, as something for my own shop to help my own workflow. So this is really what I want to see uh, when I'm in the office, uh, just trying to run my day. I want peace of mind to look up at that screen there and know everything's going good. But uh, let's zoom in and see what our uh, operator would see. So let's go to the page for this machine. And this is what you typically want to have up at the machine on uh, maybe a computer or on like a tablet, like a touchscreen Android tablet is a nice way to do this. You can again see all that critical information about the machine. Uh, on the upper right, you can see a prediction for when the machine's gonna be done uh, with its production run. So this one's 16 hours and 43 minutes. Uh, then down here, you see your tool life. So this is sort of a, uh, an interesting thing we've done is, is taking a tool life and put it up in chatter rather than running it on the machines. Most machines have tool life. Uh, but it's different between different machines and we want the operators to be able to run it in a really user-friendly way uh, Where we don't have to worry about training them and also don't have to worry about them fat fingering something and accidentally like uh, You know clearing an offset or something. We don't want them to do uh, this is real simple We can see predictions here this you know this tool here needs to be replaced in seven hours and 17 minutes So we're actually predicting based on the uh, life of the tool and the run rate of the machine when that tool needs to be replaced So the operator can be prepared um, and then let's just pretend this tool needed to be replaced. If we're the operator, all we have to do is hit this big red button here, reset counter, and you're gonna notice a couple things happen. Number one, it's gonna reset um, our prediction for when it needs to be replaced next. It's gonna set the cycles down to zero, and it's gonna log here, this uh, log of the uh, times we've reset our tool so we can actually see historically without you know, anybody writing them down how long a tool is lasting. So we just do that. Then we're all set, so it's really easy for the operator. We don't want to. We don't really want to interrupt their day. We just want to make their day easier. Um, on the right hand side here, we also see a uh, nice little representation of the day. You know, from from when we started, the different programs we've been running, and downtime throughout the day. We can also go back, um, you know, and maybe view a different day. So, say we want to take a look at the 27th, we can see what we've been running here. Um, Another cool thing we have on this page is what we call our history explorer. So, you know, say you've got a job in that you ran a little while back or something like that. Um, you can actually go in and search it. This machine's only got uh, three jobs on it, but you know, let's just say we wanted to search this uh, OZ job. We type it in immediately, boom, we've got it here. We can see what days it was run. We can click on a day. It'll move our calendar over to that day. And we can see, you know, some critical information, you know, for uh, for costing, scheduling, requoting, stuff like that. Uh, we had, you know, an overall time, tack time of three minutes and nine seconds per part. Each cycle took us two minutes and 48 seconds. It took 21 seconds to load each part. Super simple. Also, we had no alarms on that day, so we knew things were running well. This is a pretty consistent job. Uh, so this makes things uh, really easy. Rather than having to go out on the shop floor and try to track down whoever ran the job last time and ask them how it went, or rely on someone's documentation and, and fill up their day with that, we just pull it straight off the machine. You know, what data actually happened on that day, um, and how can we process that into a way that you know is really standardized and, and easy for the shop to use. Um, if you want more historical reporting, uh, you know, beyond this thing uh, of our history uh, explorer, we also have our historical reports, which are more traditional of what you'd see from an OEE system. Uh, Chatter is slightly non-traditional in that we focus on the real time and the predictions, but we also have this uh, reporting feature. So say we want to just look at spindle utilization for uh, the Haas and the Doosan. 
um, let's say in the past uh, week here, we just hit generate report and it's gonna go back through and it's actually gonna look at all the actual real data, not what humans put in, nothing like that. It's looking at what the machine's doing and it generates this report. So today's Thursday, so you see it cuts off on Thursday, um, but you can see each day we made X amount of parts, um, our active time, you know, and then our idle time, the machine just sitting there and our total time, as well as a weekly wrap up uh, on the right uh, for each machine. We also have some other reports. So say we want to see like a specific program, you know, uh, you know, on a machine, what programs was it spending the most time on? We can change this report type over to program, generate that report. Again, it's going to go back through and look at all the real data for the machine. How has the machine been running and give you um, sort of, you know, throughout the week, how much time did we spend on each program and what's been going on? So, you know, it makes it real simple. Also, these reports are printable, so you can export them to a PDF or print them out. It makes everything super simple. You know, we focus on user friendliness here. We don't want to take up your time. Uh, we just want to deliver results for you. So um, you'll see that, you know, most things in this software are very user friendly, don't really require much training, even though that's, you know, uh, that's available if you need it. But, you know, typically uh, we try to make everything very on the fly, very usable. Um, another thing I wanted to highlight too, uh, just in the settings here, if you want SMS notifications, we have that available too. So if you get an alarm or a tool expired or something like that, you can select what notifications you want and they'll show right up on your phone. Uh, just from a daily workflow perspective, this is great because it gives you peace of mind. You know nothing's going wrong if you're not getting text messages about bad stuff. And you can also zoom in here. Um, you know, we can have different users. You can zoom in on a machine. And like I mentioned before, you can customize uh, the different types of data you're seeing um, on those cards there and what you're logging. And you can actually pipe through macros um, into different types of data. So say you have a, a custom you know, type of data that you want to uh, see and pull into chatter and analyze. You can actually do that on the fly. You can say, okay, custom data one is gonna be macro 501. Boom, done. Um, and then if we want to display that here, we could just name that, you know, let's say we're using a bar puller and we want to see how much is left on the bar and we know we're, um, we're pushing that to that macro variable. We would name it that. And then when you come back um, onto your machine page, immediately you'll see here uh, that that bar remaining uh, shows up. So, you know, everything's very responsive. We don't require you to, you know, call some apps guy to get some weird internal thing changed. We, we put a lot of effort into making it uh, very customizable, very easily for your shop. So rather than taking up your time in uh, changing around settings and stuff, we just deliver results. Thanks so much for watching. Again, my name's Pete. My email is pete at chatter.dev if you have any questions. Um, also, there's a link on our website. If you click the button to schedule a meeting, uh, we can have sort of a one-on-one -on -one dialogue about how Chatter can actually fit into your shop. So I really hope to hear from you soon. And again, thank you so much for checking out Chatter.